in reverence to our April 1st, April Fool's uh, joke with the metal, metal birdhouses, uh, Aeon Catalyst uh, asked the question, joke aside, is the plastic board Martin House functional? Let's uh, answer that question. Good morning and uh, welcome to a, another Memphis Answers. Um, April 1st I put out a April Fool's video where I made a metal a birdhouse that would surely turn into a, a roasting oven if you ever used it. Uh, everybody who commented said, you know, I think it's going to be a little hot. But nobody said it was a terrible idea. Uh, but I could see in the back of their minds that they were thinking, well, this is a stupid idea, but, you know, I guess he's figured it out. Y'all were too nice to me. But anyway, that's good. Anyway, uh, I got a question from uh, Aeon Catalyst. Um, all joking aside, uh, were the plastic versions of the birdhouse uh, functional? So let's answer that question. Let's knock off the chit chat and answer that question right now. This whole uh, adventure started when I built this 12 unit birdhouse for Purple Martins, but I made the uh, entry holes too big and the whole thing is way too heavy uh, to fit up on a Purple Martin pole. So I just turned it into a regular birdhouse. This thing was a total failure as a Purple Martin house. So I got on the internet and found a guy who makes Purple Martin houses out of uh, this plastic sign material. Well rather than make a video about it, I just uh, made this prototype and I'm testing it this season. Uh, so far, I don't have any takers, but um, I do have uh, the design under control. It's uh, the birdhouses are attached to that uh, plastic pole right there. I don't know if you can see it, and then you just attach it with that uh, with that bolt, and then you take that bolt out and lower the whole contraption down to the ground. Here you can see I have all the plastic material, the plastic sign material. Over here I have templates for the various parts and even some of the wooden parts already cut out. This is an experimental roof. And here's some more uh, parts. So my goal is if the those birdhouses I have up on the pole, if they work out uh, later in the year, I will make a Memphis Monday on how to do this. And I'm kind of serious about doing it right, so I'm coming up with some innovations. One thing I'm doing, this is a pop rivet gun. I don't know if you've ever seen one, but they're uh, kind of neat. Uh, I'm going to pop rivets, pop rivet the uh, uh, parts together instead of just using little tabs. I think it'll make them stronger. But you don't have to have a hydraulic pop rivet gun. These are just regular pop pop uh, rivet guns and these are perfectly fine. I just like power tools so I buy every one I can find. Another innovation I'm uh, working on is I've got uh, wooden floors in the boxes instead of plastic and I've also got a, a home-built 
wood clamp to hold the uh, birdhouses up on that uh, plastic pole. So Aeon, the, uh, the tentative answer is the design seems to work and the, the guy I, I got the idea from, uh, you can look up his video, look up white plastic uh, Purple Martin houses. He seems to be having real good uh, luck with them. And, but I'm going to test them with my prototype before I uh, put in all my inputs and, and actually put out a video of making them. In, but that will be for next season. All right, so uh, that may not be a good answer, but that's all I have. So thanks for playing along.